Okay, how can we tell if something's a median? Uh, two it's tick it marks. has two tick marks. And it has to touch the um, vertex. Yep, it's got to come down from a vertex. How can you tell if something's an altitude? Oh, it has to have, it has to be touching the vertex. From the right angle? Yep, so it's got to be touching a vertex and it's got to come down to a right angle. Okay, what if it has a median and an altitude? It's It is probably an either, okay? It's probably a trick question, okay? But it is possible, okay, for something to have a median and an altitude, but I won't give that to you. So if you see something with a square and tick marks, look at it, but it's probably something that does not go to a vertex, okay? So uh, number nine, okay, it has a square. That is altitude. Okay, and does it go up to a vertex? Yes. Yeah, it does. So it's going to be altitude? an altitude. Oh, let's look at 12, actually. I'm going to do 12 instead. What? But you had us cross that one. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I, I heard it. I might have, but I didn't mean to. Um, okay, look at 12. So 12 is a triangle. Okay, and then it's got, like, a dotted line. It's not really part of the triangle, and it comes down and makes a square, okay, for an altitude. Is it an altitude, though? Mm-mm. Okay, what are our two requirements for an altitude? It must be having that ball be on the first. 90 degree angle. It's got a 90 degree angle, and we can all agree on that. Okay. Vertex. And then it's got to have a point coming down and going to where? Vertex. So let's look at this one that we know is an altitude. Where does it come down from the vertex to what? The angle. To the angle, to the right angle. It starts at the vertex and it comes down to make the right angle, okay? So I could draw it without even picking up my finger or pencil or whatever. Can you do that with this one? Come down from the vertex and make a right angle and still be part of the triangle. Okay, so it's got to come down, and it's not even on the triangle. It's in the air. So is it technically an altitude? No. No. It's a nothing. Okay, but it does look like an altitude with the right angle, and it technically it does start at the vertex, but is it coming to the triangle? Mm -mm. Not technically, okay? Um. I can see a lot of people getting confused on that. Yeah. I didn't even realize it was on there until right now, honestly. I just like put some on there and then I look back and I'm like, oh, that's a good. Okay, the next one says order the three sides from shortest to longest. Okay, these ones start label them. So I got 41, 64, and 75. Which is the smallest? 41. 41. Second smallest? 64. 64. And the third is going to be 75. And then you can cover up your, your ones that you haven't used. So um, one is K. And so we could cover that up, and what do we have left? Well, we got JL left for two and three. And then we could cover up two and say um, okay. it would be KL. And then the third, it's okay, I didn't explain it very good, uh, JK. <laughs> I just wanted to say JK. It's <laughs> just Okay, 19, I got 50, 60, 70. What's smallest? 50. 50. Then 60. Then 60, and then 70. Okay, so 50 is H, 60 is F, and 70 is G. So if we covered up H, what do we have left? F, G. F, G. And then if I covered up F, what do I have left? GH would be the second uh, biggest side. And then I take the third one, which is 70, and G, so what do I have left? FH. I mean, FH. FH. Okay, does it matter if you put FH or HF? No. No, it doesn't matter. Okay.
Okay, state if the three numbers can be uh, measured sides of a triangle. So not to pick on you. This is the one where you'd say yes or no, okay? Because look, we got one, two, three numbers. The ones that are you're missing a number, you can never put yes or no because it's not asking a yes or no problem. It's asking for the range of the third side. And so yours, you put yes and no, and then I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Um, so we got greater than 12, greater than 25, greater than 11. Okay, so for the first one, you got 25 plus 11. Is that greater than 12? Yes. Yeah, 25 plus 11 is going to be greater than 12. Okay, 25, I got 12 plus 11. Is that going to be greater than 25? 12 plus 11. What is 12 plus 11? 23. 23. No. So is 23 greater than 25? No. No, so you could stop here and write the word. No. No. Maybe I watch too much TV, but I don't know if it's on, is it Hulu? And he picked there's that commercial, and it's like, the guy from Austin Powers, and he's like, how about no? You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't. Is it on Hulu? I see the commercial all the freaking time. I don't have Hulu, so I have no idea. I, it's got to be on some sort of platform, because I don't have cable. So, I don't know what it's on, but. Oh, how's Sophia doing, by the way? Okay, I guess. So I got two, two, and seven for my sides. So for the first one, I could say seven plus seven. Is that greater than two? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then for the second one, I could say two plus seven. Is that greater than seven? Yep. And then for the third one, I can also say two plus seven. Is that greater than seven? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and so this one, they all check out. So is it gonna be a yes or a no? Yes. Yes. Okay, and then the last ones, Mario, are the ones where you don't write yes or no. Um, so these ones, it's not yes or no. Um, and you have to only circle two, okay? Uh, not to pick, because Alex isn't here, but Alex would like circle all three of them. Three, negative three, and like 21. Can't you can't negative. circle the negative. I think it was just circle them because it was his answers, but I don't think he realized that, like, for me, the greater, that's kind of confusing because then I don't know what, what is your final answer, okay? Um, but he had all the math right, just what's, I think he was circling them as soon as he was done and rather than, like, crossing it off eventually. So we can say 12, at uh, 7, comma, 12, comma, X. So you're going to say greater than 7, greater than 12, greater than X. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the first one, I'm going to say 12 plus X is greater than 7. Yes. And, well, we got to subtract 12 from both sides. We've got to get all of these ones to X by itself. So 7 minus 12 is what? 5. Negative 5. So no, no. No, nope. so this one isn't going to work. And so this is what, and not to pick on him, but this is what Alex was doing. He finished the problem, he finished solving it, and he circled it which most of us do. I've gotten into such a habit throughout the years of, of circling it. Um, but if you're not actually going to use it for your final final answer, make sure you cross it off. Okay, so 12, you're going to say 7 plus X is greater than 12. And we got to subtract 7 from both sides. So you're going to have X equals um, 5. Does that work out? Yeah. Yeah. And then the last one, you got 7 plus 12 is greater than X. And that's going to be 19 is greater than X. Does that work out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so you cannot have a negative side of a triangle. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, and then we got 6, comma, 10, comma, X. So you're going to say greater than 6, greater than 10, greater than X. Okay, so you got 10 plus X is greater than 6. 6 plus 10 is 
Or no, good lord. Six plus X is greater than 10. And then six plus 10 is greater than X. Okay, so for the first one we're gonna solve, so minus 10 on both sides. You got X is greater than negative four. No. No, that one does not work out. Okay, and the second one, we got X is greater than four. Does that one work out? Mm -hmm. Yep, and then down here, 10 plus six, 16 is greater than X. Mm -hmm. And so we can circle our two um, ones that work. Mm-hmm. And that's all she wrote.